I have done a few soundboard review in the past. Namely, I reviewed these two boards on the top. Uh, so the first one is like a small uh, micro SD player, which can play uh, sounds from this uh, micro SD card. And because it's uh, it stores the sound on micro SD, it can play a really long one. So I would use this one to play uh, like a long music in a loop. Or I have this other one, which has, has a built-in flash memory and it can play four different songs up to 10 minutes altogether. And I th I was quite happy when I found the this uh, this third one on uh, IC station because I wanted something uh, which can play more than four songs and can also support the the SD card. So it's a slightly easier to change the uh, the music because you just pop pop the SD card out and then you change the the music on it. And this seems to work, do the trick. So it's a, as advertised, it can play nine songs. So it has uh, pins to trigger nine songs. It can actually do more than that as well, but you can address nine songs individually or nine uh, audio things. Uh, it has a micro SD card. It supports up to 16 gig. So I'm just using a really cheap, no name, eight gig one. Uh, well, I mean, it's a Sandisk, but I got it from China, so you never know. It has a speaker out, uh, a built-in amplifier with, with a nice volume control, and it also has a line out, so you can uh, hook it up to uh, yeah, any speaker. And obviously this one is stereo, so you get stereo sound here. And other than that, it's a 4 uh, centimeter times 4.1 centimeter board. There is a 1 um, M3 screw hole in the middle and uh, that's pretty much it. Let's see how it works. Hooking up the board is very very simple. I have um, a power supply here uh, which generates me uh, nice 5 volts because uh, as advertised this board requires 5 volts. I tested it on 3.3 volts and it doesn't work. And the connections are very really simple so this, the, this red lead uh, the, or the leftmost lead is uh, 5 volts and then ground. The next pin is ground and then the, the pins after that is voice 1, 2, 3 all the way to 9. There is a pin for voice 10 as well, which I couldn't really figure out what it does. And then it is the then is another pin for play and there is another pin for busy. Uh, and for the time being I'm using this really small uh, speaker which I got out of a toy car or something and I hooked it up to the, the speaker output which is here. The volume turned all the way down, so this is probably the, um, the lowest volume setting. So I turn it on and you see that the, the LED flashes uh, and that's probably when it reads the SD card for all the different music and, and then basically it's ready. I'm not sure if you can uh, pick it up on the video, but there is a slight hiss coming from the uh, from the speaker. So there is a little bit of you know amplifier noise uh, coming out of the unit. But basically, from now on, it's ready to play the music. Uh, so uh, as I said, the first pin is ground, so it doesn't do anything. But if I um, this this wire is is hooked up to my ground, so if I touch it to all of the other pins, then it starts playing uh, the you know the first, the second, and the third, and the uh, uh, the music all the way to you know music number nine. So first one, yeah, it just random music. So second, third, fourth, the next one, next one. Uh, some uh, train sound and then a ping and I think this is the last one. So one uh, one other feature is if you connect the the ground pin to any of the you know one to nine pins and then you turn it on, it will start playing that music and that's pretty much it. So can you so can you use it as a as a as a device which plays one particular music based on which pin is connected when it is powered up but it doesn't really do anything else so it's not really useful obviously if i disconnect and if i 
you know, connect to another one that it will, it will play that sound. And the, uh, the other nice feature, well, um, I'm not sure if it's useful for you, but I think it's, uh, it's good to know. If you are playing a long um, sample, and then you hook it up to another pin, then it stops the, the previous sample and it starts playing the new one. So just again. So you heard the sheep first and then the rooster started because I, I connected to the, to the other pin. So I think this could be quite useful because, uh, for example, with this module, you have to pay, you had to wait until the, uh, uh, the, the sample finished and then, then it would, you know, check what other buttons are pressed. But with this one, as long as you press one, the other one uh, is stopped and then the, the new sample is being played. So, um, I mean, other than that, there is not a lot uh, else that can be said about this module. Um, I noticed that it works both with um, Wave uh, sound files and also works with MP3. So you just copy them to the, to the memory card. Um, I'm, I haven't really tested how it works out, which one is the first or the second. Maybe it's the order how it was played or how it was copied onto the memory card, or maybe it just reads the files in alphabetical order. So you need to figure that out. I mean, it shouldn't be really difficult. Um, uh, and the instruction says that it does support uh, 48 kilohertz, but I think it doesn't really do that. So with 48 kilohertz sound, it doesn't always work. One feature I couldn't figure out is this play functionality. So um, once I connected to the ground and I turned it on, um, then I managed to get it to play all the samples one after the other, but it doesn't seem to be working all the time. So even if I connect the play, I think it just plays the first one and it stops at the end. So I don't think it's particularly useful. Um, on the other hand, uh, here the last one, uh, according to the documentation, this last pin, it goes high when the sound, the, the music is being played or the, uh, the audio is being played. So I have an LED connected to it. Uh, so the LED is connected to this, let the other side of the LED is, is it goes to the ground. And so if I hook it up, then hopefully you can see that the, the LED comes on. And once the voice finishes, the LED goes off. And the LED is very dim, so I think it's uh, you know it's not definitely not the full five voltage because otherwise this uh, this would be glowing uh, really shiny. But probably in your application you can use it to to drive something else when the board is running anyway. And just like with the all all, all of the all the other boards, this should draw a very low current when it's not. Um, playing any any uh, music so if it's hooked up to a battery the battery should last for a very long time but I haven't really tested that so here is a much bigger speaker just to give you an idea what uh, kind of speaker this uh, built-in amplifier can drive so you can hear that the the sound with this one is much much louder and again as I said the the, the, the volume control is probably in the in the lower, in one of the lower setting. If you like this product, you can find the link to icstation.com in the video description, where you can purchase this product with uh, free shipping and the usual one month delivery to mainland Europe. See you on my next video, and thanks for watching.